Okay, so this is for activities officer. If we could just have quiet in the room. Thank you. Okay, so the activities officer is the person responsible for making sure that extracurricular activities run safely, smoothly and are inclusive, which is for all clubs, all societies, sports offering um, and volunteering service, as well as oversight of welcome activities. Unfortunately, one of the candidates could not be here today, so we're just joined by Darcy, who is now going to introduce herself for 30 seconds. Hi, my name's Darcy. I'm a third year psychology with education student, and I'm running to be activities officer because for me, whilst I've been at UCL, the activities that I've been involved with outside of the lecture theatre, be that clubs and societies as a member and as a president, whether that be through my employment in the student activities department, or whether that be through the initiatives and campaigns that I've got involved with, that's all shaped my experience at UCL for the better. And I think coming to university is an experience, is an education and an experience. And I think we have a duty to make sure that our students are getting that experience. <laughs> Ultimately, my priorities revolve around making it easier for activities to happen, from the simple things like refining processes around finance and room bookings, to you know, actively going out and seeking more facilities for our clubs and societies, and as well as working with our part-time officers and our other sabbatical officers, like the women's officer and the BMA officer, to make sure we are doing what we should be doing for the students. Um, and your question is, how can you ensure that education at UCL provides... That's not your question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> your question is, in your opinion, what are your biggest issues, what are the biggest issues that societies face and how would you solve this? So having been a president of a society for two years, and working at the student activities desk, I'm quite well versed in the issues and the obstacles that we face. It, it comes down to more simple things, ultimately. Things like finance issues where people can't get paid, we don't have access to the resources, or space issues, we don't have the spaces to carry out the activities that we need to carry out. And whilst it ultimately seems quite simple and they seem quite trivial things, without space, without resources, our clubs and societies cannot function. They cannot do the activities that they're meant to do. And it's the wider impact of that. Our clubs and societies are often a place where people learn about themselves, they learn new skills, they find out what they want to do with their lives, they meet friends for life. And if we can't facilitate that happening, then ultimately our clubs and societies aren't functioning as they should be for the students of UCL. Okay, thank you. Um, the first question from the audience is from Dan Jacobson, who studies natural sciences and is the online editor at Pi Media. So if you could put... Hi, Darcy. Hello. Um, past activities officers have said that they would engage with student media, and whilst we've had our door open the whole time, we haven't really heard much. Um, how w would you get involved with student media, and if so, how? Yeah, I'd love to be involved with student media. I really love the student media that we have at UCL. I think, you know, the all the different like magazines and newspapers that we have, the online platforms. It, that's a great way of getting students involved. That is a, it's a great way of spreading the message. I'd love to be involved. Obviously, I'd want to speak to the student media to see what it was that they wanted from me and then work with them and sort of doing that and definitely getting them involved with the wider campaigns that we're running at UCL or the initiatives that we're running because I think they have the potential to you know, reach larger audiences and they are showcasing again students' work. They're showcase, you know, they're written by students. They're hosted by students, and that's something that we really need to be appreciating. I think. Thank you very much. Um, we are just waiting for the next question to be typed, and that is from Nadara, who studies PPE. Thank you. Hi, it's me again. Thanks. Um, so I'm currently actually hall rep um, in our halls. And student halls also try to conduct a lot of activities and social activities, but we don't necessarily receive as much support as societies do um, in terms of be it either budget or just finding space. What would you do as activities officer to help student halls? Because that's a big part of a freshers' experience. For sure. Halls are a massive, that's your home for a year. And the people that you live with become like your family. And I think, it's, yeah, promoting activities within student halls is a big thing. I think again, it'd be working with the whole accommodation reps to make sure that I'm listening to what's coming, what's being said to me, advocating for funding for the events that they want to do, and you know, making sure that they feel like they can have these events. I know that when I was in halls, it was like, oh, this would be really cool. Like an example, we were wanting to watch Eurovision together. But we were like, oh no, we, where, how do we go about it? How do we even begin to do it? So it's about making sure that they feel like they can do it, whether that's coming to talk to their hall reps or coming to talk to me directly you know I want to be a point of contact for everybody 
And then it's about working out what they need and then fighting and advocating for that, making sure it happens. Okay. A big round of applause now for Darcy, please. Thank you. Um, I think as well, it's important that we give a big round of thanks to the people who've organised this tonight. Um, that was with Student Media, so that was with Pi, Cheese Graters and Rare FM. Um, big up to everyone, big up to Carl. <laughs> <laughs> And for, the, and for obviously um, Film Society who have like filmed this so kindly. I was going to say you guys last because it's most important. <laughs> <laughs>